In 1996, 30,000 feet from the ground in an airplane, Pastor Jack Hayford heard from the Lord, found a seminary, and he did it. He listened to the Lord, and the King's University is a product of him listening to the Lord. Through the Jack Hayford Endowment, you can be a part of this critical work in our seminary. You can invest through prayer, through finances, through telling others about this. You can make a difference. Listen to Dr. Hunsinger. He knew Pastor Jack so well. Listen to his heart about how transformative the work here is in our seminary. When the Lord spoke to Pastor Jack as he was flying back from uh, a conference in Atlanta, we, we think that the Lord spoke to him kind of in this dramatic moment. And he certainly heard the Lord in that moment. But the Lord had been speaking to Pastor Jack for years prior to that moment. This, this was not a momentary word that he heard from the Lord. This was a word that he had heard that the Lord had been speaking and preparing him for over generations. I did not invent the vision for the seminary. I was told what to do, found a seminary establish and extend the college ministry. The vision then is to obey God in answering what are the convictions of my heart about the need for leadership today. So from the time that he was a, a young, young man, he always had an appreciation for the, the study of scripture, preparation for ministry. My vision for the seminary is to cultivate men and women who can lead in ways that bring the likeness of Jesus Christ replicated in his people. In one occasion, he was teaching on the kingdom of God, and he took time within that particular lecture to invite the students to really think of the kingdom not in an objective way, but to think of the kingdom in a subjective way, meaning to think of the kingdom as the work and the power of God that they would enter into themselves. It was a, just a really powerful way for Pastor Jack in that time to connect with those students and to make the connection between their study and their ministry, that they shouldn't see their study as separate from their ministry. They should see their study as a part of their ministry. And so we at the Kings over the years have really spoken of the ministry of study. And the ministry of study that we talk about really goes back to Jack Haver and what he was encouraging those students and those lectures that he would give at that time to see as opportunities to take classes, to write papers, to take exams, and to do all of those things. We remind them, you're not doing this for yourself. You're doing this for people that you don't even know yet but the Lord knows who they are, and He is calling you to do the work now that they need for when you minister to them at some point in the future. By coming to the Kings, they're coming to a place that is designed specifically for them, but not only for them, but it's designed for others as well. And that comes from our teaching and our understanding of Scripture being prophetic and revelational. You can have the same moment that Pastor Jack had in that airplane because you can hear from God. Can you take a second and just pause and say, God, am I supposed to give to this? Am I supposed to invest? You can invest in your prayer. You can invest in your finances. You can invest by telling others about it as well because we need you to make a difference and we know you hear from the Lord as well.